Hey everyone, so I've been charging at 120 volts since I've had the car. So I've decided to finally go get the wire and run 240 volts out to the garage. So uh, this is gonna show the process of me getting the wire and running it from the electrical box, which is about 80 feet away on the other side of the house. And I've got to run the wire up through the attic and into the garage space and then put in a NEMA 1450 box. And I'll be using that until I'm able to get the charger. I was hoping to get two referrals. I have one referral. With a second referral, I can get a free wall charger. Otherwise, uh, I'll shell out the 500 bucks or so and get the wall charger eventually. But for now, I'll be able to go from about five miles an hour up to 30 miles an hour on the charge rate. So, okay, let's do this. We'll get going right now. So this is the outside electrical box. I have to run a wire from the top beside that one to go in the attic and then it will run across the attic and around to the garage over there. And there to the top, 25 and a half or so. And inside, we have plenty of space. All right. Okay, and now to find the connector we need. And it should be right in here. Need 1450. Nope. Nope. That looks like it. Let's see. There we go. 1450. This is what we need. So we need a wall plate. Being a larger one. For the larger box, more room for the wires. Now we need some conduit tubing and connectors. And we shall get this one right there. Perfect. 1450, check. Box for it, check. Cover, check. 90 degree for the outside, going in. And some conduit. That should do it. Drill a hole. We have inch and a quarter. Old bit, but should still work. To go in, we have this, two screws, gasket, and this part. Push that in there. So, I will put silicone here. Take it back out. I'll put silicone around here. Then I'll put this back. Number six wire, pretty thick stuff, and it's pretty heavy. All right, 
Let's get this up there. Start with this. This will get the string in pretty far. I'll tie the string to the cable. I wish I had a longer pole, but this will get me at least three feet farther in than I would normally get. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I got tied and taped in place. Let's see how well this works. So, very, very tight quarters up here with all this insulation. Oh, look at this. I could have used that. Anyway, this is not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> it has to be done. Just make sure you wear a mask like I'm wearing one right now. If you ever come up into an attic and be fully clothed, no t-shirts, cover your arms. All right. Okay, so I switched to the long stick and that's gonna be much easier for me to get. So I need to take it down here. I need to crawl to that part and pull the wire up. And there it is. Got it. Okay. A little small barrier here. So I'm feeding it underneath. Then I got to go around to the other side. So the wire is stuck about this point inside the attic, which means there's a blockage and I have to go down this hall to go up in the attic here. Then I've got to crawl all the way back. Oops. Got to crawl all the way back to here. Get the wire unstuck and then continue crawling, crawling, crawling all the way All the way past that door is a garage. Not quite as easy as I hoped. Here we are. The wire is way down on that side somewhere. I've got to crawl through that tiny space. Get down there, find the wire. Take it all the way down to the garage. Come all the way back through here. Okay, here we go. Tight squeeze, but I found the wire on the other side of this. I need to pull that through and take it all the way down there. Oh. Gotta get, oh, down there. What kind of hell did I get myself into? Ah, oh, okay, gotta keep pushing on. This is absolute hell, but I got a little bit of fresh air right here. <sighs> Next time, I'm running an electrical conduit on the outside of the house. But that's where I need to go to get to the wire. Get this wire into the garage space. Almost there. Then... I make the long trek back the way I came. Okay, I made it back to the tiny hole I have to crawl through. And I'm almost too fat to get through there. But uh, there's an end in sight and I'll be done with this hell. Uh, won't be doing this again. So this is what to crawl through. It is not much bigger than my hand spread out. I don't know if you can see that. Huh. Anyway, it's a tight squeeze. Here we go. 
Almost done. Well, I just survived a place called hell, which is the attic. A little sweaty up there, but I get the wire through. There it is. Here I drilled an inch and an eighth hole for the conduit. Now I'm using a heat gun on high so I can get the PVC pipe hot enough so I can bend it and curve it. Putting it right against it, it takes like a good five minutes going all the way around it, really heating it up. And then it's very flexible and you can bend it to whatever shape you want. Heating the bottom end of the conduit where it comes away from the wall a little bit to go into the box. The NEMA box is now, is now screwed into the wall and I pushed the wire down through the conduit and pulled it out of the box there. Run them one at a time down through the top and into the box. There's the 60 amp circuit breaker, just clips right into place there, and it's waiting for the wires. Have it, the wires come down. The white wire goes on this bus over here, right there. Red and the black goes there. 60 amp circuit breaker. The ground goes right there. And that's it. All done. It is finished in the garage. Have it coming through the ceiling. Heated the pipe to bend it around and then bent it back out this way. And that's it. The NEMA 1450. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you've liked this, please click subscribe and then click the notification so you can be notified when a new video comes. I have a lot more coming up for new accessories I'm adding to the car and modifications. And then once I have everything done, I'm gonna do a walk around and a tour of all my favorite modifications I've done to this car so far. There'll be other videos uh, that are just basically uh, Tesla related videos coming up. Um, so click subscribe and thanks for watching. All right, bye.